Good evening, yeah, Superintendent Galvani, Assistant Superintendent Cortez and Trustees. My name is Oscar Ramos. I'm the president of the Salinas Elementary Teachers Union. We don't get this kind of excitement there. I represent approximately 9,000 students and 450 teachers. I'm also the California Teachers Association's Human Rights Representative. In that capacity, I represent approximately 200, 325,000 teachers. In addition to that, I am the chair of CTS Rural Officials Committee. I travel all over California and the United States advocating for student rights and their health. In all my roles, I have to do a lot of reading and I have to make a lot of tough choices. And I'm um, here to make the support of resolution number 1003. I read the resolution and this was not a tough choice. The safety of children is not a tough choice. It should be a given. All of you and me have an obligation to protect our students. We're in the student business. Resolution number 1003 does exactly that. It protects our children and parents and teachers and you and me and classified staff. You are being given an opportunity to do the right thing, to be a champion for children. Take it, the children and everyone in Greenfield here. Well, thank you for it. The Greenfield Union School District lead the way to positive change. Thank you. Uh, good evening, my name is Dominic Thurso. I'm not actually from Greenfield, I'm from Salinas, but I actually do represent Greenfield to the Democratic Party, the State Democratic Party, as an executive board member. And I just want to say that at the state level, we have already passed the resolution uh, moving forward to say that clopyrifos should be banned in our community. And I urge you to do the same because, number one, this is a school board. A place that encourages, number one, not only learning, but facts. Science. Twice, was it? As soon as I'm done. Twice already, the EPA has found that chlorpyrifos harms students. Literally, nothing is going to come to you if you pass this resolution. You don't lose money. Nobody's going to come after you to vote you out of office. Clearly enough people have showed up that they want to support this. Stand with students. Stand with science. Do the right thing that others have just basically sold out and chose not to. Support a ban on a resolution, or support a resolution to ban corporate boss. Thank you. Good evening, board. Um, good evening, Madam Chair. I understand you're a little bit frustrated. Um, we're just trying to work together. I mean, everything is being filmed, it's being recorded, it's being civilized, it's talk. The only thing he wanted to do was film for his documentary. And everything is getting out of hand, and I'm embarrassed that this is happening right now, that we can't even act like human beings. The whole reason why I'm here is to talk about uh, Pyrifos, which is one of the pesticides that's um, uh, near our schools. And I don't like the eye rolling, Myla. You need to be a little bit more professional and look at me when I'm talking to you. Because I'm here to talk to you about the students, the students that you guys represent, the students like my son, like other kids that we represent. You guys mentioned that this is not a, a school board issue, that this is a city issue. Let me let you know that, you know what, let me tell you, assembly members are the only ones that can do something about it, and you guys. So the health of our children is in your hands. Me as a council member, I cannot do anything. That's why I'm frustrated. That's why I've been seeking, and I thanks to Safe Act Safe schools that have been educating me on these horrible pesticides, especially clear paraphos. My son just had an asthma attack over at Vista Verde, like some of you might know. Um, right now, it's still at the Ag Commissioner's desk. It's being, it's being investigated, and that investigation is going to take three weeks until they're able to tell me what pesticides were sprayed the night before that are harming him that gave him that uh, asthma attack. He ended up in the hospital. So for me, I don't take my child's health lightly, and that's why I'm here advocating, and I'm thinking that you guys are all smart especially being women, celebrating Women's Day today, that you guys are going to be smart and take the right direction towards uh, pesticides. And even you, uh, Mr. Uh, Board Member Smith, even though you're not a woman, but you can still make the smart decision and protect our children. And that's why I'm here, just to go ahead and let you guys know that this is something that needs to be done. And um, I hope you guys do vote well, yes on this, because it's not for you guys, it's not for me, it's for our children, our future. That's it. 
Good evening, good evening, board, Mud, Madame Carter. Um, so be on different behalf on pesticides. Speaking, you can at least move the guy to a location where he can he can at least see our faces. But I'll be, otherwise, behind. Besides that, um, I'd like to talk about um, you guys accepting accept, accepting the resolution for pesticides because it not only does it harm us, it harms our crops, our animals, and our environment. The the air we breathe and the crops we eat. So one of these pesticides that is sprayed on the fields is clear parafoss, which was invented by the Nazis to kill people. But nowadays in fields it's being sprayed at gallons. Like we're talking a lot of gallons sprayed on one field just to get a couple of insects off our crops. And the remaining gases from that spray drift off in different directions and which some are in the way of schools which kids outside and classes and teachers some which might be pregnant and that could damage their um, babies in the future and that's why I would I'm happy to see that you have accepted the resolution that clerk Radia has brought on to the board and that is why I am here today to to tell you that it is a, a bad Thing, but we can at least regulate how much of it is sprayed on the fields and at what times it has to be sprayed. Because there's kids already at 6.30 in the morning walking to school, and if we, there's some helicopters out there spraying loads of gases on there that can harm them, it's bad. So at least time regulations and amounts control, that can help us a, a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christy Toronto. Thank you for letting me speak here tonight. Um, I'm a member of SAS, Safe Ag, Safe Schools. I'm a parent and also a concerned citizen. And I feel very strongly that uh, our schools, we have 22 of them in Monterey County that are surrounded by agricultural fields. We have uh, a, a huge amount of children that are finding, and this has been scientifically proven through the Chamaco study which prior to the Chumaco study, uh, there was no data. Before the Chumacos, they have 600 uh, women that they've been tracking. And the IQ levels have been lowering. There's asthma attacks. I found myself talking to many, many parents at Stanford who had children that, were, that came down with cancer. When my son in 1994 was diagnosed with ALL leukemia, and at that time I was doing a report on this and doing lots and lots of reading, and I was told to talk to the University of Berkeley where they were doing the Chimaco study, and I did talk to those people, and that was when it was just starting, and now it's ending. They're tracking these 600 women. These pesticides are virile. 450,000 tons. That's a, 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 a Honda, a Mazda Civic is, is 2,000 tons. So we're talking about 200,000 approximately of these cars hitting the ground. And that's per year in California. And you have to know children's developing bodies, a mile buffer would give these kids a chance. Their bodies are developing. The EPA had already uh, uh, put this in with the bipartisan Bush and Clinton with the Clean Air Act, but we were held up in court by the chemical companies, and those 40 chem chemicals weren't being looked at, and it was because the children needed to be protected. We send them to the aquarium, we teach them not to um, pollute the environment with graffiti, take care of the environment, take care of the ocean, take care of the animals, take care, then we need to take care of the children. And over 20,000 farm workers are poisoned every year. This is something I would ask you, please, 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 
give us a mild buffer. Thank you. Hi, good evening, board. Um, first of all, thank you, Quick Radio, for bringing this to the board, and thank you all for considering it tonight. My name is Lucia Calderon, and I lead the Safe Act Safe Schools Coalition. We bring together teachers, parents, farm workers, nurses, students, um, community members to spread awareness of the hazards of pesticide drift and to work with county ag commissioners and with the state towards safe pesticide use in Santa Cruz County and Monterey County. <clears throat> so here in Monterey County, one in four students attend school within a quarter mile of the heaviest pesticide use in the entire state. And of the top 10 pesticide, pesticides used within a quarter mile of schools, um, they include chemicals known to cause cancer, harm the lungs, the brain, and the reproductive system. And Greenfield schools are no exception to this rule. Actually, they face some of the worst exposure in the state. Um, and of course, while the onus of improving the way that we grow food falls on you know, everyone in society, um, schools play a very, very important role, a vital role, in pushing for a local policy that protects children from pesticide exposure. Um, and this is an issue from gestation all the way through school years um, and even beyond pesticide exposures put children at a disadvantage. Um, the neurological effects of pesticide exposure can significantly inhibit children's ability to learn and succeed in school. After they graduate, if they do, it uh, hurts their job um, opportunities from asthma to cancer to autism. The very limited access to treatment um, and support can devastate family budgets. Um, and add significant stress to households. Even the best teachers um, or most attentive parents can only do so much if exposure to pesticides has caused a child to have uh, decreased lung capacity or autism or other uh, neurological problems. So to truly improve the lives of our most vulnerable students, I think that it's really critical that we all address um, environmental exposures, including pesticide exposures. Um, <clears throat> And we know that safer agricultural practices are possible. So while we as a society push for a transition, I think it is very important that school districts step up for better protection zones so that drift can be avoided and for notification so that schools, teachers, and parents know when pesticide applications are taking place and what pesticides are applied nearby. Um, the state rules for quarter mile buffer zones for the most drift prone pesticides and an annual notification, that's one list that a school receives once a year. Um, it's a great start for the state, but we can and definitely should work to do better at the local level. So I hope that the board can take a stand for the health of Greenfield students today and their success and vote yes on this resolution, um, as well as continue to um, build relationships with the county agricultural commissioners and the community to really work together um, to bring uh, success and health and clean air to Greenfield. Thank you. Um, there's only about six minutes left, so I'll keep it short. still have two left, so. All right. Uh, hi. Uh, good evening, board uh, members and the superintendent. Um, my name is David Kong. I am a resident of Greenfield. I've been here, living here about 10 years. And I live over on the east side there where there used to be a lot of fields. There's still a lot of fields out there now. Uh, I'm just concerned of the pesticides are being sprayed and anything we can do to help uh, reduce or eliminate pesticides uh, in our area, in our city, that's a good thing. It's been great for the students and also good for the staff because our staff members here, they're uh, also exposed to the same pesticides. No one's immune. No one's immune to this stuff. Okay. Thank you. very important thing and being stubborn about it that's that's how we get things done and also being able to reach across and understand hey this make the 
it's being happy there. So thank you very much, and and uh, board for being patient with us and trying to get this thing to, to record a documentary because we think it's that important. Thousands of people are, are affected. It's costing us millions and millions of dollars. My my history with this involvement goes back to uh, uh, the 70s when we started pushing for pesticide uh, notices for farm workers. You go out in the field, you see a sign this big it says "Peligro do not enter pesticides." Right. That happened after two and a half years of fighting with the Ag Commissioner of Monterey County, Richard Nutter, with all the facts that they had. Just like the cigar industry and cigarette industry, you can't prove it, you can't prove it, you can't prove it, you can't prove it. So when we then studied the, the matter, we started proving, and we started suing. It cost a lot of money, $250,000 for about four lawsuits that were, that were uh, filed, and they got resolved, money, right? They finally realized it's cheaper to put up a little paper that says that legal do not enter, and the cost of medical uh, for the farm workers and their families, the income coming to their home that's now not coming in, and then all these people are on welfare. Is that what we want? We do not want that. We want our kids to, to, to go to college, get a, get a good education, go to university, do these things. And we don't want your staff, should they be pregnant, get the heads up. Hey, they're going to spray in two or three days. Oh, man. Uh, hey, uh, Superintendent, guess what? I'm, I'm not going to be able to come to school on that day because, right? I mean, this, this, all this stuff is great. It's good stuff. Don't be so afraid. Don't be so afraid. I ask you, do not be afraid. You're doing the right thing. Show leadership. That's what we're doing here today. Because you guys are going to be the example. In the heart of the salad bowl of the world, we feed everybody out of here. We feed everybody. Farm workers are all around you. They're paying for your salaries. Show some respect, por favor. Thank you very much. What's going on with your kids? What's going on with you? Your body absorbs all these bad things that's talking already about. And school's going to pay that. I'm in position, I be a IRP member. I volunteer with this organization, with this group around the family. But I one day I tell, I finish. No, I just start again. My granddaughter is in school. What happened with, with that? Uh, I come in to see you. What is the, the mood you take? You take the ass. You must be, be a friend, please. Uh, one of the bad things happened here. I'd be a consular for too many people. I'd be a volunteer. And too many people asking me what's going on. What's going on? What can I do for my skin? I got spots. Looks cancer spots. What can I do with my kid? This dog can't see very well. What's going on? With, what's going do with my kids? They don't learn. And you don't have a special service. For too many years I've been involved with this system. You don't have a special service for this kid. You have the opportunity to do something for our community. Make a resolution. But make a resolution 10 miles away from this decision. <laughs> not for one, not for two. Okay. Especially. You be affected, I'm sure, because I've been in the, the working field too many years. I know what's going on with all these pesticides, but the pollution has got in, this, in the air, or all the terror, all the, all the trash travel from this place. Take a, think about it. Your policy is open more friendly. So I love us. To somebody come and take the picture and show the world what's going on. Thank you. Yes, come on. Yes. Yes. One minute. Part of the movie. Miss Kante, Miss Diaz, we both, you guys have kids at Vista. Please accept this resolution 
We do love our kids. I love my kids. Please, we would do anything for our kids. Our blood. Our kids are there. Please, think about that. because we want to ensure that the harmful chem chemicals that have been identified by the state of California and the reasons behind the January 1st passing of this <coughs> is because we do want to protect our children. And so your comment there is, um, would we have to move classrooms? No, because we're going to ensure that the pesticides and the harmful chemicals that are sprayed on those fields do not affect our, our children. And so we're going to be going to the Ag Commissioner's Office and really advocating for Greenfield because we grow up, we, we grew up, we have our children, our families in this rich agricultural community and we realize that. And so we also want to work with our local growers and farmers to realize that we are going to be vigilant about <coughs> enforcing the regulations that have been set forth by the state of California and the voters. And so that's really important to us and actually we've already talked a little bit to staff in, in terms of how could we encourage a partnership with our local growers and farmers to recognize 
we know about the law and we also have future STEM careers that our students might want to have in partnerships with the ag community and so how can we become partners? They know that this law is passed, they know they have to abide by this law and the more that they realize we also know that they need to abide by the, this law, the better we'll all be. And so we are watching and we're going to make sure that the, the laws are abided by. So, absolutely. <laughs> I also gave them my phone number and I told them that this meeting is taking place tonight and Mr. Gonzalez is not here. Okay, so you know they, had, they did have the opportunity but you know when we do talk to them you know we, we need to be a little bit tactful because they are, they are making heavy duty financial contributions at the high school for their, for, you know, in the sports programs and other activities. So we don't, we don't want to. Right. But the kids come first, you know, safety of our children, you know. If they're doing something wrong, they need to correct it. But we need to find out what they are doing. Listen. I just want to add, um, after um, passing this resolution going through, I would like to see if we could have some forum in our community. And that's how we're for our parents and communities that they guys could look into that and have some presentations. And even inviting some of the commissioner, you know, assembly members. Um, one of the other items that brought forth at the focus group that we attended is um, we asked for um, CSBA board policy or any examples, um, and there wasn't one yet. And so even CSBA at the, at the California State Board Association hasn't put forth a sample yet. We feel that they will because there will be folks lobbying for that. And so I just want to commend our board for even entertaining this opportunity for us to pass this because we would be the first in probably the state of California. We could not find any secure all the toys that are out there in the preschool and anything that is outside we could hose down before the kids yep. get there. Yeah.